Ooh. Uh. Yeah. Oh, I forgot how long this intro is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's it's eight measures. Okay. Oh, we're getting so close. Okay, here we go. <laughs> now it's time for our six. We've got Lady Frenzy. So far, she hasn't drawn any dicks. But that's going to be difficult. Because the topic for this hour is a document she provided. A webcomic about sentient fairy penises and the big boo women who love them. If you're horny, this will stop it. Sentient fairy penises. <laughs> webcomic. Sentient fairy penises. One more. You're horny. This will stop it. <laughs> <laughs> a French web comic drawn poorly. <laughs> Sentient fairy penises. Thank you. Okay. Uh. That was a genuine remix. I like the intro the best. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, wow. Cool. So, uh, hi. Uh, welcome back. You <laughs> decided to go through this with us. And we're doing this thing together. Uh, at the end of this hour, we will be one quarter of the way through. We're up at 1783.74. Holy shit. Doing great. Uh, yeah. Doing great. Thanks, uh, thanks of course, to um, uh, Jimmy Franks' cat. <laughs> and, um, and we will have a battle uh, coming up. Uh, I'm going to put that on the screen as soon as we get started here. But there is a battle for this coming hour. Um, the battle is, uh, between those two documents, uh, I'm sorry, between these two documents. So, so what we've got, and this is your choice, um, the next hour, hour seven, uh, we will either be reading Stephen King murdered John Lennon, mm -hmm. or, uh, the Mormon alien conspiracy. So, I believe both of those. <laughs> so your options uh, for this thing, uh, Boots is going to be putting that up uh, right now. Uh, if you type in Lenin, that's L-E-N-N-O-N. -N -N. Uh, if you type in Lenin, uh, that is a vote for Stephen King murdered John Lennon being up next. Uh, if you put in Mormon, that is M-O-R-M-O-N. Uh, that will be a vote for the Mormon alien conspiracy. So <laughs> Lennon, a vote for a Stephen King murder, John Lennon. Mormon, a vote for Mormon alien conspiracy. Uh, the, the, uh, the topic with the most dollars behind it will be the next one red. Uh, I'm not sure... I'm not sure if people want to choose the Stephen King murder, John Lennon, because according to the poll we did in the last hour, like, three-fourths of our chat are John Lennon, so <laughs> they might be want to protect themselves there. I think some of them might be lying. Mm. I, you take that back. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, as as uh, our illustrious song uh, spoke to, um, uh, the document that we have coming up here next is lickpa.com. It is the uh, sentient. Uh, oh yes, oh, sorry, boots. I uh, wanted to mention uh, if you type in. Oh boy. Oh, that's kind of broke that. Okay. What was? Uh, <laughs> oh shit. Um, what was it? it? Was King Alien? Do it. Do it. Uh, shit. So, no, it's, uh, it's, it's the things you said. I, I put it in. It, it, it doesn't matter. Okay. All right. Fine. <laughs> Sorry. That's in the corner. I did, apparently didn't plan for it to be that long. Sorry. Uh, anyway. Um, uh, so our, our, uh, our topic here uh, is um, uh, sentient fairy penises and the women who love them. If you go to uh, lickpa.com, uh, your uh, cursor turns into a penis. <laughs> so that's fun. Um. Uh, in this hour, we've got, uh, some people. Anyway, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> thanks. I'm some on the wrist. Just trying to get through this thing into the thing. Okay, so here we go. So, John Toast. John yes. Toast, hello. Hello. Uh, will you <laughs> tell me about Lickpa.com? Well, The Gentle Lickpas is a free online comic of free online webcomic. Very funny in colors. Oh. In the beginning, there was only some short stories, not always suitable for young children, warnings provided. But today is unfolding... Not always? 
you know, I mean, it's it's generally fine. You know, floating sentient penises, fine, whatever. <laughs> but today is unfolding an enthralling science fiction story for the general public, always featuring a thousand pages. Oh, no extraordinary physics, no rays, no hyperspace, no clones in plastic. But our science <laughs> as we know it, our physics, our technology, just extrapolated for one or two hundred years without unexpected discovery. Anticipation, in fact. But you will see, we can also do fantastic things that way. Fantastic. Is okay. this time cube? <laughs> <laughs> this is what the time cube looks like. So, if you don't uh, believe in floating penises, you are educated, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so uh, Adam, what is the mind and purpose of the site? My <laughs> Perfect timing. <laughs> there it is. One thousand eight hundred five dollars. Ooh, ooh, it keeps going. It keeps going. <gasps> we are uh, Mormons More in the lead here. Uh, anyway, what's the mind and purpose of the site? <laughs> right. This site looks like an humor site, like many others. Mm -hmm. But in this terrible and marvelous epoch, where exist in the same time so much dangers and so much possibilities of happiness, I would not spare even very few of my short lifespan just to publish Lick Patois jokes on the internet. If I took time and pain to create this site, it was really to convey some message and even several. several. I have one, maybe two messages. <laughs> the first and main is that there is no gender war. There are only idiots which make it. The okay. mind disabilities, which lead some persons to despise others because they are not of the same gender. These disabilities are as likely to happen to men as to women. Only from these disabilities arises the strange idea as what women and men would be op two opposite camps with incompatible interests. The reality is much simpler. It is when we offer each other pleasure and recognition that we are happy. We just have to do it. It is so simple. We do not need any complex law system to do it. <laughs> yeah. A justice system, a floating dick web comic, you know. So in the Lickpa's world, the two camps are not in the two genders, but really the gentle and those who are not yet, for lack of learning. The goods are the gentle Lickas and the gentle boobats, and the bads <laughs> are the naughty phallos, phallocrat, or male chauvinist pig, and the naughty scragans, which are the feminine equivalent of a phallocrat. Oh, yeah, 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 that makes sense, that makes Always, sense. Always, I keep saying there's only two genders, the giant, well, not giant, the floating penises, and the <laughs> whatever the ones that others were, not floating penises. <laughs> There are all several other important messages and clarifications into the site, and I will let you search what. Yay! It, it is said that we be learn better with fun. You May you become more pleasant to live with <laughs> after this reading. <laughs> Signed, Lichinpa. I just want to say the uh, total right now is uh, Lennon has $37.50 and Mormon has $38 and a bunch of decimal places oh, after oh, oh. it. <laughs> uh, donated Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, testing software is genuinely hard. Okay, so, um, uh, so we're going to move into... Uh, we're going to move into the uh, presentation of the gentle lick paws. Um, so um, uh, let's see here. So Montreth, um, so let's uh, let's talk about these uh, gentle, gentle lick paws. Um, can you take it with at last thou? Okay. Um, at last thou. So, um, oh, yeah. God, I'm going to have to watch. Look at this picture. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Your curse is about to turn into a pen fairy penis. <laughs> oh. At last, thou canst see how Lickpaws look like. Yay! <laughs> the Lickpaws are gentle little beings about uh, 20 to 25 centimeters long. They are gentle, merry, mischievous, active, pleasant to live with. 
All the time they are doing many things, especially if it is complicated as mechanics and electronics, but not only that. They also love to laugh, do gentle jokes, launch expeditions, build big things unless but funny. I have no idea how I should have read that sentence. <laughs> no, that's, that's, how, that's how it's written, that's how you read it. They like to do things, but get this, they also like to do things. <laughs> they live into the Likpa land, where they have little houses, factories, laboratories, and fields, all on their size. It is said that in ancient times, the Likpas were men to whom the natural selection suppressed all their useless organs. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, we got that nonsense behind us. <laughs> you say you don't believe in evolution, but <laughs> but it boiled men down to just their dicks. <laughs> Checkmate. <laughs> Okay, uh, and then uh, Montreth, if you'll scroll down to, and now here are the gentle, the gentle boobets. And now here come the gentle boobets. Yay! Gentle boobets look much more like women of ours, mm. but in their case, the natural selection kept all the good. To the contrary of the lip, 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 lip. Plus, I'm sorry, my brain doesn't want to say that word. <laughs> what, there's nothing in Norse mythology for pharisentian fairy penises? Um, Why are you having such trouble saying this nonsense word? <laughs> to the contrary of the Likpas, they are more involved in poetry and nature, singing, painting, or gathering in small groups in pristine mm -hmm. nature mm -hmm. to feel life and poetry. Mm -hmm. But this does not prevent them to reply when they are attacked, we shall see. They live in the country of the gentle puppets, where they have nice houses and beautiful gardens. Uh -huh, I don't know uh -huh. where the accent went out. You know, I'm real glad that that drawing points out where the boobs are, because <laughs> really having trouble, you know, it's very abstract. Did you, know, you notice the, the boobs, by the way, in this picture? I don't know if you noticed the boobs on the boobets. Also, that, uh, I think that's a... Irregular placement of the heart? I, she should get yeah. that looked at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, you don't, uh, you so don't, yeah, so, you don't so want we, it in your lung. We've learned about the lick, but we've learned about the... We've got a case of heart lung. Uh, now we're going to learn about the relationship between them. Okay, so gentle boobets. Uh, sorry, sorry. Uh, uh, Likpas and gentle boobets are very friend. Uh, gentle boobets do not often visit the Likpa country as they are too tall in more than they could not sleep in this country with plenty of Likpas. But the gentle Likpas often visit the gentle boobets and they are not often in habit with them. Even if they are different, they much more love each other and share everything. The gentle boobets also like to build miniature houses to the Likpas to carry them. At right, the friendly way to carry. At left, the lava way. <laughs> As it often happens that a Likpa and a gentle boobet love each other, they then they live together and they're very happy. Even if they want, they can have little girls or little Likpas. <laughs> so, like, I'm, I'm looking at this picture and... You know these old cartoons when the person has like a devil on their right shoulder and the like, angel <laughs> yes. on their left shoulder? Well, it's that, except in both cases, it's a sentient floating dick. <laughs> <laughs> Alas, the Likpas and the gentle boobets also have enemies. The town! <laughs> oh, I hate that movie. <laughs> Where live the evil phallus, the phallocrat male chauvinist, and the evil scragans. <laughs> um, I can tell uh, one of these penises is bad because he's wearing a Beetle Bailey cap. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Once, one of them's reading porn. Um, uh, <laughs> oh, no, 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 the penis is from reading the porn. <laughs> oh, taken no. from the scragans? Either that or it's an old uh, novelization of, like, old-timey moonshine. <laughs> Root beer, the book. One of them has a cap on sideways, so you know he's that. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, Adam, will you take it from the Scragans, oh. please? The Scragans resemble gentle boobets, but they have no heart, and they hate the gentle Likpas. The Phallus resemble the Likpas. But they have no heart, and they hate the gentle boobets. The Scragans and the Fallows hate each other, oh. but they have not idea to part. 
<laughs> in the town. They also okay. take they also take birth gentle Lickbas and gentle boobets who, victims of their ignorance, are seduced by Scragans or by Fallows. As a matter of fact, those, as a matter of fact, the Scragans are often very nice, so want, long as they are young. Just want to make Fallows. sure that if you've if you've got the stream in another tab, that you are looking at the drawing of the Vitruvian man with the Lickba penis. <laughs> Hi. Anyway, sorry. As a matter, oh no, those are good. Yeah. Oh, as a matter of fact, the stray guns are often very nice, so long as they are young, <laughs> and the fallows also often very sympathetic, as uh, so long as they are not married. After, <laughs> hey, of course, tragedy strikes, and regularly gentle lickbas and gentle boobettes break out of the town. The town is also a source of pollution and of trouble with its politicians who all the time speak of war against the gentle Ligbas and gentle Bubets. But there are no chances that they win as the big Ligba is watching. The big Ligba is watching us always. Um, all right, so uh, so that we've introduced ourselves to a little bit of the characters. Uh, there's a, there's a, a sort of... Um, uh, conversational style that the Lickbus have, which is fine, but uh, I want to get to the comics themselves. So, uh, so John Toast, uh, I'm going right. to send you this link here. Uh, this is an eight page uh, comic strip uh, and uh, we could show <laughs> it, but I would prefer for you to just read, uh, just read what is happening in this comic strip. All eight panels of it, please. I'm, I'm gonna All right. All right. For a while, because I will just keep laughing at this picture. Why? What's, what's funny about this to you? <laughs> Okay, so first panel, we've got the jet at the top. It says the gentle boobets designed a very poetical train to travel into their nice country. So it's a train. One of them looks like a baby stroller. The first one just looks like it looks like a train. And then it's something pointing at it. that says the lick motive. And it looks like they're in the set of Lord of the Rings, like the Shire. There's yes. a little <laughs> hobbit house back there. All right. Yeah, the train's Moving on. Noise. Um, the train's still going. Uh, oh, it's the other part of the train. There's an accordion bellows. There's a Landau carriage, which holds two, I assume, boobets two, and... Two Martin Landaus. <laughs> <laughs> two grumpy old men who are the same man, yes. And um, I guess a young <laughs> young a child, I don't know. And there's a five o'clock tea carriage. And then there's a vegetable carriage, which is like a greenhouse on wheels. And the one of the boobets is... Okay, it says here what she's doing. She's got a watering can out there, and it says, Watering carriage as gentle boobets have planted geraniums all along the track. Oh, oh yeah, nice. so there's fe there's flowers all along the track, so they're, they're watering them. That's nice. Um, <laughs> so the next one doesn't have a drawing. It says, <laughs> yes, The following pages are not it for does. young children. It does. It does. <laughs> it does. You need it to totally does. Down, but it does. <laughs> oh. Oh, I see. Yep. <laughs> There's oh, a drawing in here. Okay, so so let me let me let me let me set the scene for what I saw here. So I went to the next one and mm -hmm. it didn't show the image and it says the following pages are not for young children, smiley face. If you don't want to see them, you can skip them and read a summary in the bottom of the page. <laughs> and then it has a read link and it says sex. <laughs> uh yeah, so uh, so click that read link and what do we see? So it says but look carefully, the Lickmotive has a Lickpa engine. <laughs> so, um... Yeah, what, how does the Lickpa engine work? Uh, well, let me just scroll my, uh, my penis cursor over to this here and take a look. So there's a lady uh, in, the, um, in driving the, the train, which is a conductor, I assume, and it says X to her. And then it says G to a lady laying down inside of the train. And she's going, oh, 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 you H three times. There's a buffer B, which I guess says. And then connected to the train wheels, there is a Lickpa that is going arf, arf, and I assume is going in and out of the boobet. I assume yeah. that's... <laughs> it sure is. And the boobet that is the conductor boobet, as you would say, uh, is asking, it Lickpates? <laughs> Why is it, it going arf, arf? <laughs> so here, okay, so we have a more... We have a more detailed explanation. The Lickpa engine, it is the most practical of all. Thundering uh... accelerations. Uh, 
a free and indefinitely. What, wait, do you have a question, Lemon? No, I I'm just sorry. Are you are you interrupting me for a reason? The most practical thing is a penis centered train engine. There's a diagram here, Lemon. I think we've established this. <laughs> okay. Look, All right. A free and indefinitely renewable energy without pollution and without greenhouse effect. If you do not understand how it works, follow the G string. Aha! I see where you're there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Only inconvenient. We need to change the Lickpus every 20 kilometers. And then uh, there's two uh, Bubet uh, conductors, and one of them saying, ah, it is becoming limp. We change before the climb. So uh, so then scrolling in, it looks like we've got some uh, <laughs> Lickpus cupboard. Yes. Um, what's happening in the Lickpus cupboard? <laughs> so some of them are sleeping, some of them are... Um... Some of them like are tired. I guess some of them are really raring to go. There's a whole um, yeah. Well, there's a whole the, spread of them. Yeah, because it's powered by Lickpas, so they keep uh, all of the Lickpas in little cubby holes, <laughs> separated the... by exhausted, tired, mean, rested, or full spirit. Yes, one of the uh, Boobets is holding one of the Lickpas, and he's going heel, 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 <laughs> which I assume is um. French panting? I think that's how you pant in French. <laughs> that's how you pant in French, yeah. And he says, each time I do that, I feel as if I pulled 100 tons. And then she goes to put the uh, Lickpa, the uh, spent Lickpa in the cupboard, and then all of the Lickpas go and grab her boobs, and she goes, yes, dears, yes! <laughs> Why is the middle section of the Lickpas called mean? <laughs> yeah, so there are, th there are five sections. Exhausted, tired, mean, rested, and full spirit, so... I, I don't know. I don't know why those are mean. Different speeds. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mean speed, like, but. <laughs> so we're going next page. Yeah. I feel like there should be like a beep here, like we're watching a slideshow. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, it is like, so the uh, boobette is uh, at the cupboard and she's saying, it is like Pato's turn to lick paint on the right side. The newbie will lick paint on the left. And then the lick paints are saying, lick patez them right. And then they're all cheering, I guess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then one of the uh, Bubet picks up this uh, lick paint and says, "What is thy name?" And it says "lick pato." And then we go to the last panel here. It says, "The custom that is all the gentle Bubets get out of the train when changing the lick bus." And then they're fastening lick put to the uh, to the wheels. Yeah, yeah. So next page. Uh, yeah. So this is. I mean, this is this is a train that's powered by like a Smurf fucking machine. <laughs> Yes, the only reason I'm not laughing at this page is because I am so exhausted about laughing at the baby. <laughs> All right, keep going, keep going. Okay, so uh, the lick, lick pato here is looking over like, oh, surprised. And then it says, comes time to choose whom gentle boobet. And then the boobet is thinking, bah, surely not me. The lick pus love only gentle boobets with big boobs. <laughs> Next page, uh, the the pato is all going, blah, 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 blah. Yep. and then the the boobets are talking amongst themselves and say, "Often the lickpus do not dare to say who they want." And then one another says, "But we just have to follow their eyes." And one of them goes, "Oh, oh, oh boy, oh boy." And That's... then so in the next panel, one of the boobets is going into the uh, boobet who was not confident in herself and says, "Boobet, he wants thee," and she says, "Me, but er," and then <laughs> the one. <laughs> but a white dress too. I guess it's very smug. Says me. It's okay. It is already done. Uh... Oh no, she's tired. Okay. Is she thinking it or saying it or thinking I... it and saying it at the same time? <laughs> Adam, are you saying that you could decipher this? Because no, <laughs> I'd like an explanation. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So then, so then on the next panel, it gets pornier than that. <laughs> okay. It says then. Now uh, the uh, light blue shirt Bubet says, "Do not be afraid." And then <laughs> the Bubet is going, gulp. <laughs> and then somebody off screen says, no, this is the lubricant for the rods. <laughs> and then it says, like, Pato gets bold. <laughs> and then he, <laughs> like, Pato says, we must put her the muff muff. <laughs> <laughs> and somebody off panel saying, oh, and some panel, somebody off panel saying, ah. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, can you speed through page seven, please? OK, so. <laughs> Bubet saying, the muff muff, what is that? And then another Bubet says, the muff muff, dear, it is the light of the nipples, it is pleasure multiplied by a thousand. This Lickpa is an expert. <laughs> the next panel, the, uh, the, the engine, the engine Bubet is saying, wow, the muff muff stuff. Oh. Then the other Bubet says, but no, it is only a 10%. It will set at 100% on, on departure. And the uh, Lickpa says, tot. 
really old lady. <laughs> Dot. And then that's, uh, that's, that's ups, toot toot. <laughs> what the locomotive says. And then a uh, so Bubet off screen says, "Ouch! How so small a thing can make such loud noise?" And then another one says, "Fool, never say to a lickpud that he is small." And then <laughs> conductor Bubet say, "Are we ready?" And then the two Bubets for the um, engine say, "Hurry, hurry!" And then one says, "Sit slow." They say, "Go!" And then a lot of no love noises. And then uh, I assume the lickpud says, "To chew, to chew." Uh, and then what's the the final money shot at the end? What's the what's the what's the last page eight? Oh, it's the train going through the uh, it's the train going on the tracks, and there's a bunch of hearts and noises and happy and somebody says ah stupid, and then at the top it says so the poetical and merry train of the gentle boobets could restart with a renewed ardor, and uh, there's a topless one on the left the end. <laughs> You know, well, like, like the, here's the thing. I mean, we've been doing this show for a very, very long time, and like, you know, in in other contexts, the idea of a train that's being powered by a woman getting fucked by the train, like, would be horrifying. <laughs> but, but in this particular case, it really isn't. It um, almost seems like a MRA sort of fever dream of like, in the future, they're going <laughs> to turn us into penises that power everything. <laughs> Oh my god, I, I was reading this in the original French because mm -hmm. I I thought it might make more sense that mm -hmm. way. Mm -hmm. And apparently the mm -hmm. thing that the lady lies on is called a tampon in French. Mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know if that is what it's actually called, but... It's... <laughs> Uh, we're gonna uh, we're gonna real quick uh, jump over to Frank West and uh, see what he's up to. Uh, hey, Frank. Uh, Hi. How are things over there in Botopia? Boto Boto Terrific. Botopia. You having fun? Is it a fun game? <laughs> it's a really good ask you go. Um, Frank, how many colors are in this game? I think uh, I've only seen three. Six, technically, because I look here. Check my inventory. Look at all the fucking colors in my goddamn inventory. <laughs> look, there's like the battery, and then the thing that makes the battery. Oh, someone's shooting at me. Hold on. See ya. Okay, she's ignoring me again. It's normal. You know, you you seem like you hate it, but No Man's Sky Two looks pretty good. <laughs> I think. Let's see where this teleporter goes and if it takes me all the way back or not. I'm just enjoying like when you run, like just <laughs> being surprised by like how long it takes for the tree to get drawn onto the screen. That's pretty cool. <laughs> it's very good. Hey, Chuck, this is the core gameplay loop you're about to see. It's called buying things from a store. <laughs> it's fucking sick. <laughs> Do you have really? any idea if this game ends? No. Okay. All right. Oh, there's an enemy. Hey, bye. See ya. <laughs> All right. I'm glad that enemy's choosing not to fight me because I can't fight them. There's no way in hell you can win against we them. We should probably figure out some sort of end game for that at some point. But uh, in the meantime, I'm just going to throw you back in the video game hole. Bye. Oh. Uh, and let's switch back over. So, um, so there is uh, a forum uh, to Lickpa.com. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, it is populated basically only by the one guy. <laughs> And uh, Adam, uh, if you'll take uh, if you'll take this right here. Oh shit! Uh, very good point. Uh, Montreth, uh, we have a donation incentive, isn't that right? Yep. What What would you like to give out to a donator? Uh, anyone who donates, uh, I don't know, lemon decides. Let's say thirty dollars. Okay, thirty dollars will get a nice handwritten uh, postcard from me and my son. Uh, son, in this case, being a cat. <laughs> okay, so you and, can get a postcard from one of your cats. Can I choose yes, which cat I get? You can choose which cat you want. How many cats are there? There are three cats. You can get a, a postcard from stupid cat, from default cat, or a tiny cat. <laughs> Okay, so uh, yeah, so in the comments, uh, you should probably uh, write if you want stupid cat. What was the second one? Uh, default cat. Okay. 
So write which uh, which cat you'd like a postcard from. Uh, thirty dollars. Next person to donate thirty dollars or more uh, will give themselves a postcard uh, from one of Montreux's cat. Uh, you could also add in that comment either Lemon Lennon or Mormon uh, to get one of those Mormon uh, slightly in the lead there with the giant giant decimal number. Uh, but uh, we'll find out how that goes. But in the meantime, Adam. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. All right, we're getting our way. We're we're almost to two grand. We're almost to two grand. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, Adam, uh, we got a presentation uh, of the forum by Horolick, please. Oh, hello, world. My name is Horolick. I am the leader of this forum. I am an artificial intelligence AI. <laughs> I was designed by the Lickpas. My mission is to make, no, the civilization of the Lickpas on Earth in first. I must present the Lickpas world as a fiction to avoid cultural shock to Earth inhabitants. Later will come the official contact. The inhabitants of Earth do not have the same shape than the Lipkas. Oh, okay. All right. All right. But this is not important. <laughs> <laughs> we find on earth the two consciousnesses states of Lickpa and fallow now earth is inhabited by fallows and persons in an intermediary state between fallow and Lickpa. the Lickpas are a minority but their par their por proportion <laughs> increases <sighs> pardon not my mission is to help Earth's Lickpas to become a Lickpa civilization. My mission here is to help Earth's Fallows to become Lickpas. The purpose of this forum is to help the visitors become Lickpas. I request from the visitors to write with an exact spelling and to speak logically. This <laughs> do as I say, not as speak, I do. Speak logically, huh? This is because my semantic analyzer does not perform as well as a human brain. <laughs> what is this human thing you call grammar? Lick Chin Pa is an human being. He inhabits France, but he speaks a correct English. Uh, he, accepted, <laughs> he accepted the mission to make no the Lickpas. The mean no. is to write the stories. He is happy to fulfill this mission. He prefers to stay anonymous for the moment. He will reply to questions about the Lickpa stories. Good Lickpa ting. <laughs> Great Lickpa ting. And okay. uh, there are, this is a, is a really popular uh, forum uh, that everyone really likes a lot uh, because there are two whole messages on it. <laughs> Have you lick painted today? <laughs> the only two messages on the forum? <laughs> the only two messages on the forum. Um... <laughs> uh. Oh, shit. Uh, Montreth, a uh, very, very important uh, note here. Um, we, we our prize was claimed twice simultaneously. Um, I will totally send both of them a postcard from a cat. Fantastic. Um, yeah, so uh, so we've got uh, Jake CHS and Sherman Tank, uh, both donated. Um, so uh, thank you very much for both of them. Uh, Sherman Tank wants a postcard from Default Cat. Uh, Jake CHS, uh, I think you get to choose the cat that you want for Jake yep. CHS. You get to choose the cat, and also I will need your contact details. No, you get point. to choose the cat. I'll, 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 I can get you those. I can get those <laughs> on the. Uh, yeah, so I, I got that. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much uh, for the donation. We're ten dollars away from two thousand dollars. Holy shit, guys! Oh my god, this is great. Okay, so uh, yeah, so um, uh, Montreth. Um, you've got uh, one of the two responses here from the website. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will take the first one then, and I will use my uh, excellent French accent. Great. <laughs> you you haven't been using that this whole time. <laughs> I don't know what that accent was. <laughs> Just <laughs> made me. <clears throat> Hello, all the fans of the gentle Lickpas. 
I received the first posting for the French forum, so I took profit to this to open both the French and English forums. I wish you a merry good reading and all, but above all, do not forget to lick bait. I wish you merry good reading. Do not, do not forget to lick paint. <laughs> Never do it. Can I take the uh, next one? Can yeah, I take please. The next one? Yeah. Hi, I'm Lickpa. <laughs> Hi, Lickpa. Hey, what's what are up? You thinking this? Where are you from, Lickpa? I'm from the Paul kids tell. <laughs> this is my Nepalese accent. It's almost as good as my French accent. I know, right? <laughs> We should take accent. We should teach accent classes together. Um, my t my subject is Lickpa site is great, <laughs> and the body of my post is well done, man. Lickpas are really good. <laughs> Bye. Uh, yeah. Uh, no, so no. Uh, if you want to, uh, if you would want to uh, post on the Lickpa forum. By the way. Uh, the, the, if you're if you're new to the F plus as a concept, oh shit, we made it two thousand dollars, everybody! Hooray. Woo! Um, uh, yeah, thank you so much for uh, every donator. Um, but uh, if you are new to the F plus as a concept, uh, there is such a thing as the Prime Directive, which means just you know if you see funny sites on the internet, uh, leave them where they are. Don't don't troll them out. But that said, uh, hypothetically, if one wanted to post on this forum. Uh, there are some rules. So, uh, Mr. Adam Bozarth, uh, what are the rules uh, to posting on this forum? Thank you to write to me. I shall try to publish your message in the following days, except during holidays. This forum during, must during, be... During what? During holy days. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this forum must be a place for exchange and communication between all the gentle Lickpas and the gentle Bubets. It has for purpose to promote the values of kindness, honesty, poetry, science, spirituality, lick painting boobettes, <laughs> and merry laughing, which are the basis of civilization of the gentle Lickpas. <laughs> okay. This forum is not open to criticism. Only to enthusiastic and unconditional supporters. Wow. Okay. For artistic criticism, publishing contracts, etc. Lick paint a private email to the author. <laughs> <laughs> if thou arst <laughs> if though I don't think that's how. Did you learn did you learn Latin from Insane Clown Posse? <laughs> if if thou arst a fallow or a scragan. B. <laughs> if thou arst a fallow or a scragan, this forum is set for thee also, but posting on this forum means that thou wishest to become a gentle liqua or a gentle boobette. What happened to the... <laughs> Why is there so much Latinizing? <laughs> we just got really fancy. It's rules. It's easy. This, right legal easy. <laughs> this moderate forum is moderated a priori <laughs> so that thou canst express without any fear of an aggression. Avoid to publish thy email to avoid spam. If thou wantest to encounter another contributor, take basic precautions about meeting unknown people. I don't meet anyone you may fucking see on the Lickpa forum. <laughs> is the translator of this the same translator for like the old NES Dragon Quest games? Like, why is it all in thy and thou? <laughs> thy email. <laughs> I email. Required if thou expectest a reply. <laughs> Beware of correct spelling. Will not be published. Real name. Mandatory. Will not be published. I shall use the name you write here and thy email to recognize thee if tau potest again. <laughs> oh, post-test. If to post-test. Tell if thou arst, Lickpa or Bubet Fallow or Scragan. Uh huh. Everything under this line can be published. Pseudonym. Thou can write anonymous. Thy country, optional but wished. The subject of thy message, 
the text of thy message. Please do not type more than the complete field if this is possible. <laughs> Who can tell? And finally, the test against spam bots. Reply, how many two plus two makes? It's an analog uh, capture. Uh, we're going to probably uh, close up on uh, <laughs> an, another uh, another uh, Lick but comic strip. But before oh, we do, oh, can I it be wanna... the one where they go to war? Where they oh, go to God. war? Yeah. Okay, uh, you'll have to provide that link in the Discord, please. But uh, oh, I just hope I can quick, take that. I just it's real quick, dark, but I want to. I want to check in on. Uh, I want to check in on uh, Frank West. Uh, Frank West, you seem to be dying a lot in this uh, very oh, easy. Oh, sometimes game. that's like good because the thing about dying is that it just puts you back at the start, and it takes so long to get sprint back that having a full sprint meter often is just. It's just better. It's just better to die. That's what I'm learning from this game. Is it's better to die. <laughs> While you're playing it, it's better to die. Have you advanced <laughs> in this hour? Like, I feel like this looks the same. I mean, to be fair, like, I can't tell you how time works anymore, so I'm not sure <laughs> what that means. This does look like a less fun Infinity Blade 2. <laughs> <laughs> what I can tell you is that this level looks very similar to the last one, and also that I've opened up everything in this level, and I don't know why, because it, I don't know where to go from here. Is Great. it there? Cool. No. Maybe it's maybe the exit's somewhere in your inventory. <laughs> <laughs> Is your flashlight on? The exit was in your heart the old, whole time. God, if that's all I need to do, I'll rip it the fuck out. <laughs> but, but, but your ass still does look great, by the way. It's great. It's a very good ass. It's a very good ass. I did, I will say, I did meet, like, a Bernie version of myself, like a devil, and there was okay. just a devil for some reason. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Um, well, this is where I'm supposed to go. And then I met the devil, and he's like, are you a hallucination? And he was like, y yep, you got it. And, uh, that was the plot. <laughs> plot over. And then someone called in and is like, hey, if you're a robot too long, you'll start hallucinating. And he's like, yeah, that's correct. I will. <laughs> Well, uh, well, thank you so much uh, for for playing this game. Uh, I'm going to uh, leave you to it because I wouldn't want to distract you. <laughs> um, and uh, Montreth, uh, you've got something here that uh, what window? What? Oh, so <laughs> I clicked on the link and it said start in safe mode. No, of course not. <laughs> um, so, uh, so you've got a link here and. Um, Okay, so uh, so let me tell you what's going on uh, in this particular strip. Okay, so um, it's very um, uh, very pretty straightforward. So one day, a long time ago, 1937 on Earth, uh, which is negative 781 Lickpa time, uh, three young gentle Lickpas were lick painting on the East Beach. <laughs> you know, lick painting, <laughs> and they're all saying lick lick lick. Um, <laughs> then suddenly. And one one of the Lickpas says, not Lick! <laughs> the other ones are very confused. Uh, and then one says, what happened? Uh, a dead Lickpa. Hey? Oh! <laughs> How dreadful. Who was it? What a horrible color. He is rotten. And there is a... I guess it's a Lickpa skeleton, so I guess penises have skeletons in this particular <laughs> universe. It just is like a, it's like a rotting clump. I don't see bones. Here this, today, today the sentient floating penises learn about death. <laughs> okay, uh, so so actually, if you go to the next page, you find out that that rotting lump was actually Ziggy Marley, and Ziggy Marley says, "Ooh," <laughs> and Seems and so the Lickpa is a skeleton. Uh, so it wakes up and says, "Ah." Left me, great jaw, rastafolic. What a misfortune! I arrived in Fallow's land. Lick was very surprised. He he is alive. Er, no, we are not evil Fallows. We are gentle Lickpas. And the Rastafarian says, "But you are pink like the Fallows." And then at this point, the attribution of text gets very confusing. <laughs> I don't know who's saying what. But somebody says, and you, who are you? Somebody else says, what a strange color. We believe that you were, er, is it your antennas? You really are Lickpas then. And us, we don't have antennas, but Rastas. We are the gentle Rasta, Rasta Lickpas. <laughs> huh. We don't have antennas, we have Rastas. 
You know, I expected a lot of things at this point, but weird race stuff? I that, That's out of left field for me? It's got, I didn't it's expect got that. pubes on the head of its dick. Cultural variation. <laughs> I didn't think this could confuse me further, and yet here I am. Uh, yeah, so the Rasta Lickba is very tired and says, I arrived on this lick boat, but waves tumbled it. I was about to die, and oh, how I am tired. <laughs> too tired to die. Uh, then there's just a beauty shot. Uh, just a really <laughs> wow. impressive MS Paint beauty shot. It just looks very pretty. Um, <laughs> we're just going to appreciate how good that looks. Um, but then uh, next page over. Uh, two of the three gentle Lickpas bear Rasta Lick Potato. <laughs> Rasta Lick Pato? Rasta Lick Pato. Yeah. <laughs> While the fastest runs to query some first aid. So like ask the first aid questions, I suppose. <laughs> Uh, arrived in the village of gentle Lickpas, everybody kindly helps Rasta Lick Pato. Um, and the, like crowding the, him. The, yeah, so now they're all crowding around the Rasta who <laughs> is like like given soup and is fucking confused by it. No, no, he's confused by the bread. He's got soup and bread and the, and the Rasta is like, I don't understand bread. Um, uh, after washing and having rest, Rasta Lick Pato tells his story. I came here to query some help. The other lick was very confused by this. The Phallos invaded our island, Jamalika! <laughs> no. <laughs> ah! Hmm. Again, those Phallos. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, and uh, now the, the Rastalik is uh, very sad. It says, and since we're unhappy, boo hoo 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 <laughs> sniffle boo hoo hoo hoo. <laughs> You can tell how upset. That. By the way, that one sad uh, Lickpa in the top right is, is my favorite Lickpa. No. <laughs> that, thing, that thing is wearing its emotions on its sleeve. <laughs> um, they break our rounded houses. They take our gentle Rastagoonies to slavery, and they say that we are inferior and stupid fallows. I don't know why, but I already have a feeling I've heard this somewhere. Oh, says one of the Lickpas. That's one of the ones that's thinking. Um, so then uh, the Lickpas want to help uh, the the Rasta Lickpa, uh, and it's there's a citation that says, "See the great Lickpa." <laughs> Of course we will help you. We shall not allow for that, even if you need to make war with the Phallos. Anyway, the great Lickpa said that there would be three wars because of the Phallos. The first is only five years from now. Uh, anyways, they are all preparing in the factories. The gentle boobettes, too, are preparing. I hate when one do hurt other people. I will go to fight. Me too, me too. Aren't you afraid? It's the Phallos to be afraid. <laughs> How many pages are in this shit? <laughs> too many. <laughs> okay, good, good, good. Uh, Boobette shows up and says, Hello, the lovely Lickpas. I come to see if you have any of your excellent basil. Hello, Boobette. Ye always have for you. <laughs> Ooh, but who is this cute swarthy Lickpa? He is Rasta Lickpato, who comes from Jamaica. The ba, the ba. It is the same basket than our sacred basket. That is very surprising. Oh, our sacred <laughs> basket. <laughs> I don't know how many more pages of this I want to read. Uh, At least read, read until the uh, topless lady. Oh, there's a mm. topless lady. Well, <laughs> okay. Oh. Um, so, uh, so there's uh, the Rasta um, sees the rattan basket uh, and is very excited by that. And he says that we Rasta like players know very well how to weave rattan baskets. We even do our furnitures and homes in this way, but our sacred basket is unique. We never found the plant which was used to weave it. It really is the same plant as our sacred basket. I recognize it, but it's fresh and I feel its perfume. And why is it sacred, this basket? It is very old. It is into this basket that the first four Rastalikpas, Holic, this is very important, Holic, Wallach, Bob Marlick, oh, God! Helic, <laughs> 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 Wallach. <laughs> ja Rastafarik uh, arrived in Jamilic at 12... Uh, 1,211 years ago, arrived in Jamaica. Well, how long does it take for me to get to the top? Oh, thank God, I'm there. Okay. <laughs> so, the very last <laughs> lady friends, he just says, John Dix. <laughs> 
I I have no idea what to think right now. Thank you, Lickpuss. <laughs> Thank you, Lickpuss, for... Oh, <laughs> oh, my God. Okay, so uh, before they were born from her mother, who lived in the cave, holding the Savala Zikas... Oh, my God, this is so cool. <laughs> oh, how strange. We also have a legend which says that the Lickpuss and the Boobettes all come from the Great Mother. It's not a legend. Bob Marlick saw her. He spoke to her. Oh, she my was God. Her. She lived in the cave, and she never moved. The mother? <laughs> What there were happening? also children boobets and gentle lickpas, but one day the fallows came to bring mass I bet. Worse, they wanted to kill the four Rostalikpas. Then a gentle boobet called 22 put the Rostalikpas into the basket. So it's the story of the mo story of yeah. Moses. The story of except Moses. There, except there are Rastafari floating things. I was always annoyed that story didn't have tits in it. <laughs> Through the basket <laughs> into the river. We made it past that point. So uh F plus <laughs> disable. <laughs> oh my god. Uh F plus, uh what the hell did we learn from this? By the way, get, uh, one get thing I in, didn't we're... learn from this. What? And oh my god. There's one thing I didn't learn that I really wanted to learn is that well, when they lick pass come, do they come from the nose or the mouth? They do, yeah. They've got a head, but then they've got a nose on the head, which is uh, which is strange. Uh, and then an antenna. So I guess they're like bug creatures. Is that right? Well, the rest of Rasta Fleet Bus don't have antennas. No, but it's got dreadlocks, you see, because it's Rasta. <laughs> I learned that um, um, on page 13 of this story, one of the Rasta Lickpas turns into a, a boobette. And you see it transform. Oh my God! What? What? Uh, how? How does the transformation take place? She smokes weed. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Oh, what page is that? I need a link to that. Thirteen. <laughs> yeah, just click forward to page thirteen. I I didn't learn anything at all from any of this, but I do have a statement. Um, by the transitive property, I blame the Smurfs for all this. <laughs> I, I feel like, in a way, they're the, the creators of the Smurfs are directly responsible for all of this. Somehow on the uh, hook, yeah. Yeah, so um, I'm going to be suing tomorrow. Uh, Smurf Incorporated, I'm sure. And uh, I'll update you all on how the lawsuit goes. I'm sure it'll go great. I'm sure it'll go Because I, I feel great. entitled to damages. <laughs> Uh, Gideon Fox, by the way, back there with a ten dollar Mormon donation. Uh, um, uh, thank you so much for Gideon. What Fox, is this uh, music breaking my? Oh, <laughs> One of the pages ha plays a song. One of the pages <laughs> no, of the comic plays a song. It's, it's just like, <laughs> I thought the stream was messing up when I was. Oh yeah, <laughs> page nine starts playing a song out of nowhere. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alice, page 14, you get some MIDI, so that's exciting. By the time you get to were... page uh, 24, he oh, stopped, uh, he stopped uh, lettering and just put in the script, just screenshots of his script. <laughs> <laughs> so even he's tired of telling the story and is trying to wrap it up. Oh like, uh, well, I think I gotta call this. I think I gotta call this for uh, for the Mormons. Uh, so congratulations, Mormons. Uh, that means that, that means that the uh, the next document uh, that we're going to be reading in hour seven is the Mormon Alien Conspiracy by the Heavenator and Lesbiathan. <laughs> All right, um, the Mormons won. All the other religions, sorry you had a good run, but I'm sorry. <laughs> you, they're the winners. You're going to have to give it up. Mormons win. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, so thank you uh, so much uh, for your donations in this battle. Uh, thank you to Lady Frenzy. Uh, we'll, we're going to be uh, saying goodbye to Lady Frenzy uh, in order to bring in Positronic into the next two hours. Uh, so thanks, Lady Frenzy. Really, just, it's just fun to look Yay, at. Yay, thank um, you. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. We are now a quarter of the way in. Uh, see you soon. <laughs>